text and actually about a video that was actually done on our channel, uh, but it was a caller who called in to uh, Mark's show, which is the voice of college football. If if you're here, you probably know that, but nonetheless, uh, you know, uh, Mark does a call-in show once a week. I believe it's Wednesdays, but um, there was a caller who called in, and essentially he was kind of wondering why James Franklin is is being talked about as a top candidate for the USC and LSU jobs and not Jim Harbaugh when essentially, the, it, it, the way the caller put it, essentially they're kind of like the same coach. Like they've had the same results. Um, and you and I kind of talked about that a little bit. Um, so what are your, <laughs> what are your, your thoughts on the, on the comparison well, of, of Jim Harbaugh and James Franklin? We really should say this for a Wednesday show because now after a win, people are going to be like, oh, <laughs> why are you talking negative on a win? Okay, whatever. I'm just going to speak from what I believe. Uh, no, I mean, look, they have a very, they have very comparable resumes. Uh, however, Franklin has a Big Ten title. Franklin's beat Ohio State at least once. You know, Franklin's won two New Year's Six Bowls. Harbaugh's done none of that, right? So I would say they have very similar regular season success. But, you know, postseason, you know, you got to get the nod to Franklin. And, you know, and that's not to give, say James Franklin is some, you know, great shakes. And I think his biggest pitfall is in-game management. He does, There's definitely, you know, um, a lot of things you can say about James Franklin that you, you won't necessarily like about him. But you got to give him credit. I mean, and, and that's why it's so important, Desmond, to – finish and, and, and to, to have things in a trophy case because it it eliminates that gray area and i think that's like the biggest pitfall of the harbor era it's always a great a gray area oh you know the team uh is uh nine and nine and three or ten and two look what we did this year you know we won nine to ten games right but we're third place in the big ten and we didn't win a, a damn thing there's nothing, and when you look back in the history of thus far Harbaugh's era at Michigan, it's like, what did we accomplish? If someone asks you that question 20 years from now, right? Assuming that Harbaugh's no longer with the university and whoever's, you know, at the helm, and someone asks you, well, what, what, what did the years 2015 to 2021? What do you remember about those years? Yeah, or, or what do you have in your in your uh in your trophy case that gives you some kind of like that jolts your memory you know what i'm saying no well they were co uh stop 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 stop, stop. <laughs> no 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 don't stop with the cold big 10 title stuff you know what i'm saying so no 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 you, not co big 10 title co division big champion. 10 east title yes right. i know yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no it's just and, and, and that's the problem right and um and, and that's why it matters to finish you know and if you are a hardball apologist, it's just like you just don't have a, a ground to stand on because it is it is what it is. It gets to a certain point where even if you and that guy who was who was talked to Mark, it got to the point where it's like Mark would make the similar points that we just made, and he would be like, uh, "Well, I, I'm just saying yeah, that." Yeah, but like it, yeah, like you know, Mark like, would make a good look, point of uh, just like because yeah, one of the things that the caller said was, "Well, you know, the best team in the in the." Um, west is wisconsin basically year in and year out and right. michigan basically has had to play them every year since jim harbaugh has been there and mark looked it up and was like yep and michigan is three and three under harbaugh against wisconsin james franklin has only played them three times but it's three and oh against wisconsin so like mark brought that up was like well you know harbaugh's 500 franklin's undefeated against him he's like yeah but and then we'll just move on to something different. It's like, yeah, but the the point that you tried to make, like Mark rebutted that point, and then you're just right. like, well, yeah, but I'm, uh, you know, but it's still harder for Michigan. Like we're we're comparing apples and oranges, and Mark's like, no, actually, yeah, this is apples apples. <laughs> this is about as apples and apples as you can get. He's like, they yeah. play in the same yeah. division, they play basically the same schedule. Like yeah. this is this is as good as it gets right here, and. Um, mm -hmm. That, that, I just thought that was interesting. I, I mean, yeah, say, similar. I, and and when we talked about it earlier, you know, the the only different point that I made was essentially like their their records are 
pretty close. Um, I, I don't think there, yeah. I think there may be a difference of like maybe five wins or something like that over, you know, seven, seven seasons, seven, eight seasons is not a lot. Um, but what I had said was with James Franklin and Penn state is it's looked different. Like the success for, for Franklin at, at Penn state has looked different because they've had the years with Saquon Barkley, you know, being a run, you know, heavy team. And then they also had, you know, with, with Trace McSorley, the year that Saquon was gone, you know, I think they've had uh, McGloin there. I mean, with their yeah. um, starting quarterback now, like it's it's just looked different. Whereas Harbaugh's success at Michigan has always looked exactly the same. It's been yeah. run heavy, ball control, and then we're going to play defense. And, and it always goes team. back to finishing. And, and, and if Harbaugh, maybe if he had like that one miracle year that James Franklin had, right? Uh, and ironically, the year in 2016 when – James Franklin uh, won a Big Ten title. Michigan was the only team that destroyed them that year. Mm -hmm. um, to call them on the right Saturday. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Ohio State, I mean, excuse, excuse me, Penn State did their job. They won a conference. You know, they, they took mm -hmm. advantage of that window. Um, and even – and I think fans struggle with this. Like, especially like that kind of fan, right? Like, Harbaugh's their guy. Maybe they may not love Harbaugh, but that's their guy. And especially when it comes to James Franklin, like, I'll still take Harbaugh. Okay, I understand. But you you can't – sometimes you just have to – can't deny, like, what the, the facts are. You know, you can like a guy, like, well, that's my coach. But it's like his results speak for themselves. Like, it just is what it is. It's not how we want things to be. It's what they actually are. And – um. You know, you just and, and look, they both produce really good NFL talent. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and, and but it's just but the thing you, is too. What, 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 when we were talking earlier was, you know, my 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 point was yes, they both produce NFL talent at a high level, but I feel like Penn State does a better job of getting those four and five star guys and and having them produce at a high level at Penn State. And then get and drafted. college besides when it gets in the field. Where I feel like Absolutely. with Michigan, sometimes I don't. I don't want to, you know, right. make it a lot of. You know, I, I don't think it's a lot, but sometimes you get those four and five star guys, and they don't. They don't have that high production, but they still get drafted because they're extremely talented football players and go on to have a you know good career. So it, it's 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 kind of same but different. Um, I actually think and, Michigan does better. They, I actually think, and I'll, uh, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I think they do better with three star guys, two and three star guys. I mean, if you think in those hit, you know, think about think about Hassan Haskins, three star kid, had two offers, you know, uh, Purdue and Michigan. You know, mm -hmm. think about Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell was a basketball player. You know, yeah. like and, and they and they, you know what I'm saying, like uh, Chase Winovich wasn't highly, highly, he wasn't a four or five star, you know what I'm saying? So Sean Gary, I mean, just, okay. Stop it, you, know. <laughs> you know, my point is, is that like, I actually do, I think they do a lot better with the quote unquote average recruits and they do the high quality ones. But um, you know what? Here. I think part of that is, is I, I think that Michigan players overall have an entitlement problem. And mm -hmm. when you're not a four and five star guy, you don't have that. Like you, you come yeah. in knowing you're a three-star guy, you come in, you know, like I have to work to get on the field. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to get anything given to me, handed to me. Like if mm. anything for Chase, it's like, well, I see Rashawn Gary and and he is talented and, and he should have been on the field, mm -hmm. but Rashawn didn't, he was being penciled in as a starter from the beginning. Like, and yeah. then from there it was just like, okay, well, how well is he going to play? And, and, and is he going to be, you know, penciled in for 40 snaps, or are we going to pencil in for 75 snaps? Like how, you know, that, that part's on him. But uh, I, I think that's part of that kind of work ethic from the, you know, the three-star guys. Um, but in our conversation earlier, you actually had mentioned this, uh, and this comment by Rico Jesus says, we have the fourth best coach in the East. That's and ironic. You, had actually, you actually mentioned that uh, yeah. when we talked on the phone earlier today. So, so who would be who would be your top three coaches um, in the in the Big Ten East? See, this is where it gets tricky. I'm, I'm to be fair. I'm gonna I'm lay it out the exact way I laid it out to Desmond earlier. So I'm gonna people. I'm gonna take you into our phone conversation today 
what I said to him was, and, and, and mind you, this before the state game today, but I still don't think I'm going to change even after the game today with state, is that one and two, I have to go Ryan Day and James Franklin. And I just told you why I have to take Franklin over Jim Harbaugh. You know, I, I, I give the guy that's who, who at least has one trophy in the case, okay? I have to give him the nod there. And now we get down to three and four. And so it's easier to give the longevity card. At what, and now I forgot. We were, we were saying the Big Ten. Yeah, in the East, not Big Ten Hole. Okay? Yeah. So I'll take Paul East, Chris yep. out of there. Okay. So Harpo has the longevity in terms of a longer track record of being at least, a, at the very least, a good coach. Right. Nine, ten win seasons. However, I don't feel comfortable with putting Harbaugh over Mel Tucker so easily because if you're better than this guy, how does he beat you two years in a row? <laughs> One year he barely has an offseason. The next year he's he's basically – he's using his program, you know, like it, with Band-Aids, you know, transfer portal guys. He's cleaning up the roster with most a lot of the guys who were left over for D'Antonio – He's beat you two years in a row. And it's like, I just don't feel comfortable just putting him over, you know, uh, putting uh, putting Harbaugh over Mel Tucker. You know, and I know what people are going to say. Um, well, you know, Mel Tucker, look, he didn't do anything at, at uh, what was it, Wake Forest? Uh, uh, not Colorado. Wake Forest, um, yeah, Colorado, I'm sorry. Same seven, Colorado, think, yeah, and, Colorado. And, um, and, you know, he's only, he, he barely does anything in the MSU. Yeah, but he's beat us two times, guys. He's beat this guy two times. He's just getting started, you know. So I'm, I'm sorry. I just got you. Got to give him his credit, you know. Like I, you and also too, like even with the way MSU lost today, like that team plays with a certain confidence. You know, you gotta remember they're just getting started. Um, and so yeah, I mean, I, I'll go Harbaugh fourth. Yeah, sounds I, tough. I, it, it sounds unfair, but it's like you. I don't think you could justify them putting over the first two in Franklin and Day. And it comes down to how do you put Harper over a guy who's beat his head in his first two years on job? Yeah, I mean, I, I agree. I, I it's it's tough because the sample size is smaller, but, you know, it's uh, I, I don't know. It's 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 a difficult thing to do, because the, the thing is, is if Michigan State wins out, they're going to be the Big Ten East champ. 